Hi everybody, this is Bronislava. I have a blog handmade rukodělky with a lots of written patterns. If you're interested, link is below the video. And uh, well, we have 2021, year 2021. And this is my first video of the year. And because we are going to have Valentine's very soon, in about a month or so, I decided to make a Valentine's project. So look what I have done. This is my naked baby with a, with a uh, bib. And the bib has two hearts, one here, one here. So I will show you in this video how to make the bib and how to make those hearts, okay? But I am also making uh, something for myself and that is going to be actually just, I will talk about it, but it will be a different video. Uh, I decided to make me a skirt, wrap around skirt. And I have also a little heart right there, look. Okay, so that will be a different video. I'm not going to be showing you really how to make it, but I will be explaining how I made it, okay? So if you're interested, uh, stay tuned for a video about wrap around skirt. But right now, let's go and start working on our bib. First, I will cast on 27 stitches. Now I will knit all my stitches, just knit stitches, okay? Our second row we will do exactly the same, knit 27 stitches. In my third row, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and have an edge of four stitches over here, four stitches over here. In my fifth and sixth stitch from this side, I will increase. And also from uh, in the fifth and sixth stitch for on this side, from this side in, I will also increase. And I'm switching to shorter needles because this needle is, it's, um, it's hitting my table. Okay, so I will have different needles. So we will knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. We will increase stitches. So you can either make one by picking up a stitch between the stitches, knit one, and do it again, okay? Okay, you could also knit back and front. Knit back and front. Okay, so that's another way to increase your stitches. So I'll just leave it like that. Uh, you can choose whatever you, you know, you like, okay? So now I have to go and knit those 15 stitches in here. When you have six stitches again um, on your needle before you start knitting them, you will increase in these two stitches again back and back and front or in between the stitches okay but since i did a uh, back and front i will do back and front again and i will finish knitting four stitches all right so we increase by four stitches and you can see that it's kind of starting to curve over here. Okay, that's what we want. We want a little curved 
edge over here. I will knit all this all these stitches back. So in this case, since I had 27 stitches, I increased by four stitches, so I will have 31 stitches. Okay, so we will knit 31 stitches. By the way, I will go and have a pattern on my blog again. Look below the video for links. So in this row, we will knit, we will increase by one stitch. So we will knit four, first four stitches. And we will increase by knitting in the back and front by one stitch. Now we will knit all these stitches until we have five stitches left. We will increase back and front in this stitch and finish knitting four stitches, which is our edge. Okay, so we need to increase now in the back, in the front. We increase by one stitch on this side. One stitch this side, one stitch that side. After you're finished with this row, you should have 33 stitches. Knit back 33 stitches. All right, we will do the same one more time. Knit four stitches, do the increase in the back in the front or in between the stitches your choice now knit all the stitches to your last five stitches so this is my uh, fifth stitch from this side so i need to do in the back in the front and knit Actually, let me show it to you in English style. I haven't shown it to you in English style. So I took my stitch out so I can show it to you. So English style hold yarn in on the right hand side, right? Let me see, this stitch is twisted. Okay, now it's correct. So we will go in the back wrap the yarn don't drop it do it one more time from the front in a knit style okay and we have two stitches and then you go and finish knitting your last four stitches very good now we are going to knit four stitches knit four stitches now we will purl stitches all the way to last four stitches okay we will just purl one more and now we will knit last four stitches oops knit all the stitches even the end stitch sometimes i sometimes i slip my last stitch now knit all these stitches on this side and on this side, I will knit my first four stitches, purl the stitches in between, and knit last four stitches. Okay, so that's what I will do. And I will do that twice, so four rows, okay? So, and you can go and do that as well. And when I am finished, again, I am telling you, I will have 
pattern on my blog okay so we will knit first row knit and purl and knit second row and repeat that one more time okay so we so after i'm finished with my four rows i will show you what we will do next okay so now i will be working with um with my markers okay so we need to place markers and we also will start working with yarn overs so we will knit 14 stitches knit 14 stitches put marker now we will we need to knit six stitches one two three four five six okay we need to do yarn over and we need to do slip slip and knit through the back loop okay so we added stitch and immediately took the stitch off okay and this is our middle of our pattern and it's going to be hard right so now we need to knit until we have eight stitches or left on this needle so let me see this is four plus four and over here is gonna be our next marker so we need to knit five stitches one two three four five we will put our marker and now before the marker and after the marker the stitches are going to be on on the right side we will knit all these stitches and we will knit all the stitches after the marker on the right side okay so we will finish knitting these stitches and on the wrong side we will do like we always do okay so we will knit first four stitches four and we will purl all the stitches one more and now i will knit my stitches knit four stitches okay so that was our first and second row of our heart pattern so again we will go and knit all the stitches to our marker now we will knit four stitches one two three four after you knit four stitches you will knit two together okay you will do yarn over we will knit one stitch we will do yarn over we will do slip slip knit through the back loop and we will knit the last stitches which is four okay and we will knit finish knitting the row okay now we will go and do our wrong side all like we always do knit four stitches purl everything in between and knit last four stitches 
Okay, so from now on, I will um, show you in this video only the what I'm doing between the uh, markers, okay? Because we will always, on the right side, we will always knit up to the marker, all the stitches, and after the marker. And in between, we will do our yarn overs, okay? So in this row, between our uh, markers, this is how we will proceed. We will knit three stitches, one, two, and three. We will knit two stitches together, yarn over, knit three stitches, one, two, three, yarn over, slip, slip, and knit through the back loop, and finish knitting three stitches, one, two, three. And now finish like you, you always do. Finish knitting and on the other side, knit edge stitches and purl in between the edge stitches. In this row, after you knit all your stitches, you will knit two stitches. You will knit two together. You will do yarn over. You will knit five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. You will do yarn over. You will do slip, slip, knit through the back loop and finish knitting last two stitches. Knit, knit. Last two stitches before the marker. And then finish knitting entire row. Okay, so after you do your wrong side, we will proceed in this row this way. Knit one, knit two together, yarn over, knit seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over, slip, slip, and knit two together through back loop, knit one, and then proceed again like we always do, finish knitting, and then on the other side, on the wrong side, you are going to knit the four edge stitches and purl in between, including yarn overs. Again, the pattern is below the video. The link to the pattern is uh, below the video, okay? Okay, so, so far we were doing on the edges yarn over, right, of the heart. Now we have to also do not only the edge here and here, but also in the middle, okay? And this is how we will do it. We will start with knitting two together and we will do yarn over, okay? We will knit four, one, two, three, four. We will do uh, yarn over, yes, yarn over. We will slip, slip and knit. We will knit three, one, two, three. We will do another yarn over and another slip, slip and knit. And of course, knit through the back loop. Okay. And let's finish this row as we always do and then knit our wrong side. All right. In this row between my markers, we will knit this way. We will knit one stitch, knit two together, yarn over, knit one stitch, do another yarn over, knit one stitch, 
and now we will go and do a center decrease okay so we will slip knitwise two together knit one stitch and now let's go and place those two stitches over slip them over the knitted stitch and we have central decrease okay all right so we have knit one knit two together yarn over knit one yarn over knit one center decrease we will knit one again yarn over knit one yarn over okay now we will slip slip and knit and we will knit last stitch okay and finish this row uh, knitting and do the uh, wrong side again the same way like you always do okay I am finished with my row okay and what I will do is I will make another heart on this side okay so this one this heart is shifted to this side and I will make another heart right here shifted to this side so I need to use my marker so over here my heart was shifted eight stitches and it was in between 13 stitches so what I will do now is I'm going to put my marker after eighth stitch okay and I will actually do it this way I will just move all my stitches one two three four five six seven eight so this is my over here on the edge now I will go and count 13 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's take this out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3. Okay. We will put our marker here. And we should have 10 and 4. 1, two three four five six out seven eight nine ten and four edge stitches one two three four okay so now i will do my next heart between these two markers exactly the same way so my tip is going to start after sixth stitch one two three four five six and i will have to do yarn over here but it it would be a little bit too soon so i will do my four rows okay knit all the stitches and on the wrong side knit edge stitches purl in between and knit and end stitches okay and i will do these two rows two times total four rows when i'm finished with that i will start my heart again between these two markers and I will do it exactly like I did all those rows between the markers when they were here, okay? Okay, so I am finished with my rows, but instead of four rows, uh, that means two times back and forth, I did six rows. That means three times back and forth, okay? And I'm ready to go and make my second heart that is shifted to 
this side, okay, instead of this side. So I will repeat exactly everything between my two markers exactly the same way, okay? So I will start with, in the first row, with knitting six stitches, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and finish, and then back and for everything exactly like this heart. So you can replay this part between the stitches while you're doing doing it over here. It's gonna be exactly the same way, okay? Again, my pattern is going to be uh, written on my blog and uh, you can see the link below the video. And so let me go and do my heart over here and then I will show you what I will be doing next. So I'm finished with my second heart, 14 rows of my heart, okay, from here to here. And uh, since I have six rows here, six rows here, I'm going to go and make six rows over here before, before I will proceed further. All right, so look at this. Instead of having uh, six rows above my heart, I have only two rows because I took four rows out and then I started doing my short rows above it and look visually it's so much better right all right so I will go and write the pattern with only two rows above that heart uh, if you want to go and follow the written pattern all right so I've knitted my six rows and I took my markers out and I will now place them here in the middle. So I have 35 stitches right there and I will uh, put a marker after 15 stitch and after, after five stitches over here. So I'll have 15 stitches here, five stitches and 15 stitches, okay? Because we are going to actually go now and create a little curve over here. And we will do that with um, short rows. Okay, so let's go and... So let's knit 15 stitches. And then we will put in a uh, marker, okay? Okay, so I knitted 15 stitches. I will put in marker just to keep an eye on uh, making it even, okay? We will knit five stitches. One more. We will put another marker, okay? And now I know that this is my middle and these are my markers for each side to make it curve up, okay? So now I will finish my row. Now what I will do is I will knit and purl. So knit first four stitches and purl the rest all the way to this area, okay? To the marker. We will turn around we will slip our first stitch, okay? And we will knit again all these stitches. Turn it out. And knit, knit four, and purl all but last five stitches okay so we will end up somewhere in here one two three four five okay right there so let's go and knit first four stitches 
and now puddle. Okay, so I puddled six stitches. Now we will turn around. We will slip first stitch and we will knit all the stitches again. To the end. Now we will turn around and we will knit one stitch i mean we will need four stitches one two three four and again we will knit or purl rather only let me see two four five only one stitch we will purl only one stitch okay let's go and see how we're doing over here So you can see that it's kind of slanted, right? Okay. Now we need to do the same thing with this part. All right. I will put all these stitches on a holder. Okay. Um, I took a 5.5 millimeters um, needle uh, because I don't want it to slide off, okay? Okay, very good. So now we don't need this anymore. Okay. And we're going to add these stitches, the middle stitches that we did not work with for a while on this needle, okay? As well. And now we will work our short rows on this needle okay so what we need to do is we need to purl all the way to last four stitches and these last four stitches we will knit so i'm leaving a long enough um tail because I need to I need to weave it in later on okay so we will purl all these stitches now we will knit last four turn it around and we will knit all the way to last five stitches again okay so let's knit all the way to last five stitches so we have five stitches we will turn around we will slip hold on one second we need to have the yarn in the front we will slip this stitch and we will purl all the way to last four stitches which we will knit those four stitches one two three four okay so we will we need to knit those stitches because that's our edge right turn around and again, we will go and knit all the way to last five stitches. You see, we have short rows in here. So we have to create one more short row. So knit these six stitches. Yep. No, I'm sorry, five stitches, four plus one five stitches we will turn it around and finish knitting so this one we need to slip and these we need to knit four okay very good so we have 
one two three four five one two three four five and we have five okay so now we are going to go and put all these stitches back onto this needle okay so this is our beginning and we will continue knitting our edge so let's go and put all these back okay very good so where we have these ends over here and over here uh, we need to uh, pull on them so just to make sure that that uh, stitch is not really long and loose okay and now what I will do let me go and just show you so we will incorporate all these stitches back together uh, these short rows so it's going to be slightly curved over here and what we need to do is uh, six rows of our edge right here okay on the top so let's go and start knitting and when we get let's knit four stitches when we get to fifth stitch we need to incorporate it in such way that we will close that gap over here okay so let's move it on my other needle let's go and pick it up from the back the the uh, leading line over here between the stitches let's go pick it up from the back move this stitch back on onto the needle where it was previously and let's go and knit these two stitches together okay and we closed that gap now we will knit again four stitches and we will repeat the same thing move the stitch over to the other needle pick it up from the back move the stitch back onto the needle and knit it knit those two together okay and you can see that we don't see any hole right here there is no hole in there okay and let's go and continue all the way to the end of the row over here we don't have actually any um okay it's right here this is where we this is where we have the hole you see this is where we have the hole okay you have to be careful right there so from the back okay we don't need this one actually we're supposed to move it pick it up from the back not from the front okay move these two together and and knit them together okay let's go and continue to our next gap let me see where is it it's right here so now since this is the one because over here we had that stitch that jumped up on this side now we're having it over here on this side on this side okay so what we need to do is we need to knit to that jump but we don't need to remove that stitch okay and we just will go and again pick the stitch from the back and knit the the, the stitch that jump that is higher up together with that leading line okay let me go and show you how it looks all right it looks like that you will practically see it much better when we are uh, when it's all finished okay so now we will go and knit all the stitches to that jump again one more here is that big jump 
okay we are going to again pick it up from the back and knit these two stitches together all right again one more time all the way to the jump this is where we have that extra stitch or extra row and we will continue making that making it nice and uh, in line okay and this is the last one okay so now we knit it our first row and incorporated our short rows so we don't see any holes we will turn around and we will knit all the stitches again so this is going to be my second row and then i will go and do four more rows back and forth so now what i will do is i will bind off all the stitches but eight okay so eight stitches are not gonna be bound off in here so let's go and bind off stitches now So I bind off all these stitches and I have seven stitches here plus one here, which is eight. Okay, so that's what I did. And I will start knitting my band that needs to go all around the baby's neck. And that is going to go and button over here. Okay. Now you can go and do just straight line uh, just knit back and forth until it's long enough to go around the baby's neck or you could also do that you would do the short um, short rows on four every so often on four uh, stitches and that means that you would have to go and knit an extra row over here before you would go and knit entire all these stitches back and forth again okay and you would go and do that every so often uh, so let me go and show it to you uh, i will knit about six rows or eight rows and when i'm done i'll show you what i am talking about okay so that was one row two rows second row okay so i knitted eight rows this is my ninth row This is my 10th row, but what I will do is I will knit only part of it. I will knit half of it, okay? I will turn around and I will knit another row here on that other half. And this is the outer, this is the outer you know so it has to make a longer row okay you see how it's starting to curve it's in an angle right so now i will go back and i will knit all of the stitches again but we need to add that a little um you see how it's it would go and have a hole in there i will go and add that that stitch right so we will go do it from the back put the stitch back on and knit it together okay on the way back
and finish knitting the row. And we will count again. It's eight, eight rows, okay? And in the ninth, I will do it again. Or actually in tenth row, okay? So, and I will do that a few times. Uh, I will do these short rows a few times. And let me go and show you how it looks at the moment. You can see that it's curving a little bit, okay? All right, so you can see what I have done so far. Okay, so over here, from here to here, it's six inches. And this inner edge is nine inches, okay? And I increased or made the curve six times over here. Six times I did my short rows. Okay, I also already made two buttonholes over here. Oops, that yarn doesn't belong in there. Okay, and this way, if the neck is not so chubby, I can button it right here. Okay. And this is gonna be for the baby's neck or make it a little bit higher and make it bigger around the neck okay and over here you can see that it's also slightly curved because of those short rows over here okay so now what i will do is when I untangle myself, I will bind off and then I will just weave in all the ends. So here we are finished with our project. Um, hopefully you knit it along with my video and you like it. And all I have to say is links are below the video links uh, that means links for blog and playlist don't forget to like my video comment share with family and friends subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media all right and you will see me another day